Hello everyone and uh, this is just a uh, quick video to show you the mobile feeder that I've uh, built um, over here um, pretty much along the lines of the image I, I uh, had on the uh, on the website so um, I think uh, that came out pretty well but before we look at the mobile feeder I just want to come back to Troopy and just quickly show you um, how he would traditionally um, move to the food source so here we have him uh, in the learning confine and he was now moving towards the green patch which will tell him he's now on the food source so he's physically in contact with the food source and that he detects by that optical color sensor which we actually use as a tactile sensor and um, similarly for this for this red line in the confine here we have a red line this will tell Troopy that he's in contact with the wall um, feels slight pressure but it's only when he uh, feels more pressure than uh, moving on to the black line which will tell Troopy that he's actually feeling physical pain. So that's how we use the, the optical sensor, the color, the color sensor, Lego color sensor, as a, as a tactile source. And what we will do is, um, once Troopy is on the, um, on the uh, green patch, we will um, help him lift his hand to touch the number one button. Uh, and we'll do this a couple of times until he learns that this is, uh, this is the way to get food. Uh, and then slowly he'll learn to do that and he'll even learn to navigate here to this specific point to come and find the food um, but what when we work with the um, with a mobile feeder of course things will change slightly um, and now we can bring this uh, mobile feeder anywhere uh, to Troopy in the learning confine so the moment we see that Troopy is hungry enough we will bring the mobile feeder and we can put it right in front of Troopy and you'll see the the uh, the green patch will now move under the color sensor and immediately Troopy will sense that he's in contact with the food source um, and um, and start to feed. He'll, he'll, he'll do the, what we call the suck uh, reflex, um, like a human infant almost. Um, and, and, and at this time he'll be looking at uh, the, uh, the, the, the blue color panel there. He'll also be looking at the, the, the food source over there. And of course Elsa, uh, the little uh, frozen uh, character's face over there so all of these things will become associated with the fact that he's feeding and it, and they're providing him effectively with food um, and this we will do now for a few different positions in the learning confine um, and um, see how, how Troopy uh, learns to uh, have these uh, positive emotions towards towards this uh, this, mo this mobile feeder um, so I think it came out pretty well um, I think the, um, the, the, the feeder is pretty much what I intended it to be. And it's a very important device that we're going to use to prove a lot of other things as well um, going forward. So just quickly, just to recap, uh, we have, the, we have the, the green patch in front, which tells Troopy that he's physically in contact with the, um, with the food source. That'll also trigger the, the suck reflex, the stop and suck reflex, uh, akin to the human baby reflex of rooting and sucking. Um, and then we have the blue panel, which is our crude way of identifying the food source. Uh, and later on, we will move to this. It's, it's not for now, but we will look at more detail around the actual food source um, and issues around preference of food and things like that. Um, very importantly, he will look at Elsa's face over here. And that image will become, um, a, so to say, a, an object of uh, desire or, or something that will generate positive emotions. And that are one of the key sort of aspects we want to, uh, we want to test. So... Diving into Troopy's brain, we would want to go and look for those positive emotions. And um, if nothing else, we want to at least see uh, in time that he a little a little smile on his face when he looks at uh, Elsa's face and have those uh, uh, positive associations. So uh, that's just very briefly um, the, the, the mobile feeder. I think it came out pretty well. And um, we will uh, we'll be talking about this and using this tool quite a bit going forward to do some more interesting experiments.